Everyone hold your breath while we wait for the world's slowest opponent. Hold. Hold. Hold your butts. Hold your butts. Come on. Back to back, back to backs. That's how you win, and that is that. All right, this person definitely went above and beyond to ensure their name would be uh, offensive to everybody. Right? Uh, all right. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna play them. We'll do our best to put them to shame. However, in the game of Runeterra, you must never let your opponent see your pieces. Are they gonna troll us by uh, playing really slow as well? Maybe. Maybe their entire like maybe they're gonna play as slow as they possibly can. God, man, so trolly. But we don't know, like they might just be making a tough decision right now. We do have an early turn one, turn two, turn three. This is very likely to draw us a card. This card is like really good actually. And I will attack. You may block, but I am very happy to have you block. Elise also cannot block that. But the one mana 2-1, this thing is really hard to avoid getting in damage at all. Like, there are, you know, spells that deal with it, but cannot do anything about that. We cannot block, but we can take down that 3-2, which is pretty good. Hmm. This doesn't significantly change anything. I don't feel like... I do want to play that spider, but I don't want them to be able to play other stuff. Um, my god, that's so powerful. He just gets to kill my guy. The spider would have been a good play. Do I want to kill my own Elise? I don't think so. I still think killing my own thing would be a bad play there. I guess I want to draw a card. 3-3 three, three, draw a card. It lets me block and survive. And we do get to play another release next turn. So this would have been significant if I was playing around. Sorry, it would have, the minus one minus one would have been a good versus uh, Whirling Death. And that was basically their whole turn, so that was their plan. So next time, I kind of know. All right. Good luck. Hey, we got it. Right, that ain't no thing. This card's freaking busted if it actually goes off, man. A four mana minimum six five, and it's likely going to be stronger than that. Bolt, double fearsome as well. Yeah, I think I have to play. Do I want to play a, just a lease? I have one, two, three, four. This is just kind of like five, six, and this would be seven. I don't have enough room. I think I just play because I play a lease, and I, I want to play this no matter what. So I could play a lease in this. Like this does get plus one plus zero, makes their stuff. But I'm trying to think. A lease would make me leave back an attacker. For like a 1-1, one, one, which isn't that good. This thing's a 4-2, period. That's pretty good. Kill a unit, okay. With three or less power. We're not going to be able to... Oh, we would have changed that if we would have played this first. But like, we don't... You know, it's hard just to play around things. No. A lot of the stuff's hard to play around. Alright, see what they got. None of their stuff can block any of our stuff besides this 2-1. 
which they could only block with things that I would be glad for them to trade with. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen damage. Fourteen, fifteen if they don't block this. I am very happy for my one one to trade with your two two. And we get to play Hecarim next turn. I mean it's looking pretty good. Um The fact that the miss rates get big enough to block fearsome is so good in like a semi mirror matchup. Oh, we got to play Hecarim now just because we could destroy him afterwards with Rekindler if uh, they kill Hecarim. Plus, Hecarim is just busted. All of our stuff's already big enough to block. Hmm. I actually think we are, we're not going to play Hecarim here. My thought process... This already can't block. My thought process is that they're going to play the spider that gives all my things minus one, minus oh. And then they, uh, they'll they be able to attack me for, let's see, it would be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That wouldn't quite, yeah, 50, 60, 17. It would be lethal if I couldn't block. But if I play this, it'll make all three of my myth rates big enough to block. And this would be able to block too. So even though I really want to play Hecarim, um, this gives us the ability to uh, prioritize killing the spiders. This brings us down to eight. And they're only at five, and they can't block this damage right now. So I don't need to go crazy. I'm not sure what they have. When, when it's like... You never know what late game Shadow Isles is gonna pull. I pull the strings. Can they survive this? Is the question. Three damage. Okay. Pass. Where they're only going up to seven mana, so they can't play Rasa until. The end of the turn. So I think we just play Hecarim and attack with a full board. Because we might have had a lethal attack here, but they... I, I, I'm just like... I'm not sure what they could possibly have. Okay, so they had that, so they were going to be able to block. So we did not have a lethal attack. But with Hecarim, we should. Even they could block any combination of three. If they block four, 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 they're still taken way over. Let's go. There was no Dawn Speakers in this Dawn Spiders deck, but who needs it when you got a heck of rain? I really do like the level up mechanic for champions. Um, not a mirror, but uh, a lot of the same champions, obviously. We're, I think we're only running one Thresh. Um, I actually think we're going to keep Purify. Purify is pretty good against a lot of their stuff. I'm not sure. Without a one drop. But then again, if they don't have a good like early game blocker, go into two into three. Because uh, we get to attack on two. We don't get to attack on three, though. So this guy is not as good. If you're not attacking on three mana, it's not. It's just not as good. But it means we will have enough uh, spell mana up for this. We'll probably save that and play it on four. Are they going to play the Undying? No. Undying is three mana. Right? Yeah, Undying is a three mana 2-2. Two, two. Do they have the is they have the two mana 1-1 one, one that becomes a 4-4? Four, four? Or is that guy more mana? I, I It's been a while since I've actually played the card. And I haven't seen it played that much. The dark hmm. We'll see if he attacks. This is really bad if he could just kill it. But at the same time, we're forcing him to use another card. But like if he gets to spend two mana to draw two cards, 
and get rid of two of my cards is really bad. But if he doesn't have that exact card, this is phenomenal. And he has one deny. Getting a deny out of him for a two mana, a three mana two two is pretty phenomenal. Back to back will be nice in our next attack phase. This card is pretty bonkers. Although you do have to play it and then attack with it if you want to get that effect so your opponent gets a chance to respond to it so it's not busted. Honestly, I will attack. If you want to send a 4-3 to block the 2-1, I'm totally okay with that. I'm good with that too. I'd prefer that. I'd prefer one of these blocks, but I'm okay with this block also. Just getting everything down to a low life. Ah, that's right. It could block anything. It, it's uh, got four attack. All right. They're going to be going for the jugular. If they're going down to eight right here, they must be planning for like a nuts turn. We do have back-to-back -back, though. Back-to-back -back could just win us the game. We'll see how they spend their mana before they attack. If they just attack straight up. We go down to 10. We just use back to back here. Plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three. Okay. They probably have back to back as well. No, they're just going to kill their thing. Okay. Totally fair. We're getting close to where Ross is going to be really good. They'll probably be able to deny the ability, but again, it's all the, it's all timing. I'm not feeling too bad about this one, but I'm not feeling super confident. Black Spear is really good, but it's not like amazing. We get in for three uh, damage here, four damage if they don't block, which will just be lethal. I think we play, I do think we play Elise because it creates two bodies. It becomes much easier to sneak in damage with back to back. That's pretty bad, but it's fine. Okay, we're going to try to kill him with back-to-back. -back. Everyone. Everyone, hold your breath. While we wait for the world's slowest opponent. Hold. Hold. Hold your butts. Hold your butts. Come on. Come on. Back to back, back to backs. That's how you win, and that is that. Let's go, Bertle. I play. I just fought Bertle earlier today. He totally kicked my butt. Um, I I wonder how many. It feels weird to get the same player more than once in a row. Honestly, we're gonna hard roll for some early game. We got our cool card back, so I don't feel bad getting rid of it. We have a good one, two, three. Um. Vertle's deck is really good. I think he's running the Mega Mogwai version of Vladimir. A lot of people are playing Mogwai decks right now. I mean, I'm obviously just playing a tier one deck right now. I'm playing Dawn Spiders, which is currently one of the number one meta decks, but that's kind of the point is I'm going through, I'm going to go through the meta tier list, kind of start at the top, work my way down. 
because I, you know, I have to spend cards to make it. I'd still rather have good cards than bad cards. Um, but I will, um, I just want to try out, like, basically all these decks that are good. Kind of try to better understand what makes decks good, um, in this game. Do we want to, um, I think we just attack the three. Are we ever playing Don? I would like to play this guy this turn, but. This is this thing's actually scary because this thing doesn't strike. I, I think if you strike this, it's weird. I think that this gets struck by this, and then it will counterattack with the three damage. I don't fully know, but I, that's how I think it works. Play a two four, so they're gonna self damage themselves. We're gonna want to purify. Probably purify is actually re really good in this matchup. If we could just get one of our own things to die though, which we we want something to die, and then we want to drop Don Speaker. Maybe we should play Don Speakers, but. We also want to play things that we want buffed with Dawn Speakers. All right, see what they do here. I want to know what happens if I block this with a 2-1. If it just I deal 2 damage and it becomes a 3-1, or... Well, I will play Dawn Speakers. By the strength of our convictions. They're playing very cautiously. Their hand must be kind of a slow roll hand. Or it's got to be a lot of combat tricks. We're going to have five mana next turn. Uh, six, actually. So I mean, one of them is going to go to waste, I guess. But not waste. It's going to go to spell mana. We are going to attack. Attack. Do we care? No, we don't care what they do. Maybe I do. We'll attack here. Let's see what they want to do. Yeah, that's what I assumed that they wanted, so why would I challenge it to make it happen? So I'm curious what happens here. They do not counterattack. Okay. Noted. I've got to keep this as a surprise, I think. Or one of my things dies. What could they possibly have? They have seven cards. How could uh, they not have any good plays right now? Two damage to all units. It will kill these three. Unfortunately, I think that's okay. I can't afford to play this. If this... If I play this and he has another avalanche, we're fucking toast. Is it all other? Yeah. I think they're playing avalanche, avalanche. That's the only thing I could imagine. Avalanche destroys our deck, I feel like. I, unless we get going, but... Yeah, they're not doing anything powerful. They just spent all their mana, but they did wipe my board at the same time, so... I'd never keep my guests waiting. Alright. Wish me luck. We got it! a follower we can't fuck with champions we can fuck with champions with this though all right let's see what's up let's see what's up i will attack all out vladimir what you got question is do we go for Vladimir or do we just try to well we'll see what they do here they're playing a lot of frost stuff so okay so even if we give plus three plus oh that's not enough to kill the, the Vladster so we're gonna play this and there's a great chance that uh, they just freeze me but we have to make them use another spell don't we right we're threatening their Vladimir 
They got to use more control. They got to use more control, you know? This actually doesn't even die till the end of turn, though. It's actually, so it's bad. Oh, actually, you know what? It will die now. That's actually pretty good. What do you get with your last thing? I, I will play my Dawn Speakers. Vladimir does not get regeneration until he levels up, and he's he has to see three more allies survive damage. So we're in a decent spot here. Let me show you what I can do. Blood isn't a toy, you know. Move along. I think we have to just go all in, balls to the wall here. Why didn't I block Vladimir, you ask? I forgot that I could. That's why I didn't block it, I mean. Take an 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. We're still at 8. We get, we'll even purify that, probably, if we have to. Is that a burst? It is a burst. Currently, we're at seven. And this is alive and this is dead. But our last card is a very relevant one right now. Bertle thinking hard. Bertle thinking hard. Okay, we will purify. Okay. We don't lose any allies, so our Dawn thing isn't very good. Alright. So we're at 10. Now this does die. Doesn't do extra damage. I should have just blocked him. I have no idea why I didn't, it, if I'm being honest. Alright, is there. Do they have anything relevant here? Going in. I assume you come for me. We have to attack with this to have a good chance. One suffer, another Let's get a good look at you. That's still lethal. Dawn speakers for the lethal takedown. Come on, Dawn speakers. That's why that card's OP. You know why? Because it kills the Nexus with that last one point of damage. So Mobiletics came out with a um, meta tracker, basically. If you download their extension, um, it might even be on like the website, but you could basically just keep track of the meta of the tier one decks, the S tier, the A tier, B tier, C tier, and so on. Um, and I just kind of want to go through the tier one decks and then go through the tier two decks. Just test them all out because, I mean, everyone's still new at this game, right? We're only a couple weeks in. Um, and I want to basically educate myself what makes the good decks really good versus what makes the bad decks not as good as they could be or like kind of understand the overpowered things and it just I, overall I think it's a good learning experience and you know to be fair I get to play tier one decks on the way but and you know get some free wins by playing really good decks but the first deck which was in the S tier that I wanted to try out was Dawn Spiders. Um, I, believe, I believe Shadow Isles or Ionia is in like nine out of the top 10 decks in the game right now so that, that's probably good there's probably going to be adjustments in like the next week or two here but for right now um dawn spiders is a deck that it's kind of just like play good stuff it is built around dawn speakers for the most part but we're only running two of it um in the list that i saw online um this is a three mana one four at the end of the round grant other allies plus one plus one if an ally died this round this card is insanely insanely powerful I think it has a little bit of issue dealing with, like, I, I don't know. Like, I had some issue with, like, Noxus decks, which were just able to um, just kill this with, like, Coaling Blade and things like that. There's, it, it gets hit by a lot of removal um, that 
is like on the low end and like an aggro matchup. It, a lot of aggro removal, I feel like, can deal with this card pretty well. Um, in the control matchups, there's a lot of things that deal three damage, not much that deal four. So usually this could stick around for a little bit longer. Um, it takes two avalanches to kill it, right? So there's a lot. It is a pretty resilient card, but ironically, in the aggro matchup, I found it a little bit harder to keep alive because I got Culling Bladed a lot. That might just be because I'm in gold, and maybe, you know, maybe the meta changes to get higher and lower. Um, but it's one of the build around cards. I would probably up this to three if I was to make a list. Um, other cards that are like the standout, really powerful cards are just overall fearsome things. But the Mist Wraith, the two Mist Wraith cards in the uh, in the game right now, the actual Mist Wraith. This is a two mana two two fearsome, which is hyper important. When I'm summoned, grant other allied Mist Wraiths everywhere plus one plus O. Oh. So this is really good, but even better is the four drop Wraith Caller. Um, a light a legion legion scott i can't fucking speak today legion summon a mist wraith so basically if the top card of your deck is also shadow isles this effect goes off and you get a summon a mist wraith if you've already summoned a mist wraith mist wraith it'll summon a three two instead of a two two or you know this gets the bonuses of all the mist wraiths this when it says everywhere it means ones that you conjure for, to your hand somehow or no matter every mist wraith after this will be plus one plus oh no matter how you get it um which is really really good the, the thing that's really good about it is the first Mist Wraith you play as a 2-2 is still like an okay 2-drop. It's slightly worse than the Spider, but once you get the second one down and they both become 3-2s, not only are they phenomenal attackers, but they become able to block Fearsome themselves. So in the mirror matchup, um, whoever has their Mist Wraiths down first are frequently the ones that are able to win because you could then decide to block things. Because sometimes in an early game, it just everyone's playing... They're playing elusives, low thing of elusives, and you're playing fearsome. No one can block each other, so whoever can get the most pressure out first wins. Um, but in the exact mirror where it's Wraith versus Wraith, um, or you know, you're playing Wraith, they're just playing fearsome and they don't have the Wraiths. If getting your guys up to that three power um can be really good because then you could decide to trade in things, triggering your Dawn Spiders, sorry, Dawn Speakers, just getting uh more value. Other than that, other cards that I'd probably want to boost is Vanguard, Redeemer. A 3-mana three 3-3 three, three that draws you a card is just really good because sometimes you do get board wipes because um, sometimes someone runs Avalanche, um, and this is just really, really good follow-up to Avalanche, especially if you already have a Dawn Speakers on the field from the turn before. They try to board wipe you. You get to play this, draw a card, and then you have a 4-4. Four, four, and this It's not like the greatest refill, but it does help you keep going a little bit, and I've been impressed with the card overall. Back-to-back, um, -back, absolutely disgusting. Just insanely powerful five mana burst plus two allies plus three plus three you could use this for lethal you can use this to trade for their champions and followers you know favorably the card is so good they can't deny it the only thing they could do is use their own burst spells like sometimes they'll have frostbite or things like that that can um undo the effect of one of the cards but it's very rarely that you're gonna have both of the back-to-back -back allies is a um like dying right or getting, this is like always generating some good benefit, assuming that you have a wide board, which you typically do in a deck built around having a wide board. Um, other than that, everything else is kind of, you know, we're playing Rasa because Rasa's busted. Two of them might be a bit high. I never got, the games never really got late enough where I could actually play this. This is a pretty aggressive deck, but it could definitely help close out um, a lot of games as well. Um, Hecarim, insanely overpowered. You you guys know, the, the top end of Shadow Wilds is pretty busted in general. Hecarim, Rasa, Ledros. Um, the commander guy. I don't remember if his name is Ledros exactly, but anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. The final card that I really want to point out. Purify is so good. Like, there's so many matchups. Purify is fantastic. It's good against Shadow Isles because you can get rid of the last gasp, you know, the last breath um, of that big late game commander guy. You also, uh, yeah, yeah, because he's a follower. You can't hit champions with this, which can be bad, but for the most part, there's so many good followers. Like, it, even the Shadow Isles, like the one, the one, one, the undying guy. The one one that gives you a four four when he dies. These are all like phenomenal targets for purify. But also, it's really good for things like Fiora, right? If they're gonna come in with Fiora, it's really uh, not Fiora itself, but like in those decks, they run a lot of those spells that are like oh plus three plus zero oh, and barrier. Um, you could it's really just good in a lot of a lot of matchups. It's really good in the Vladimir decks that are going around right now because a lot of their things are like the zero three when it takes damage, it gets stronger. Boom, purify. You're a zero three, or you know you hit it. And then you turn it into a whatever. It becomes a 3-1. And then you turn it into a 0-1, you know, um, before it can actually do anything. Purify is really good in a lot of situations. So this is a card that if you're playing Demacia, squeeze it in one or two just for uh, fringe situations. Because it's another good way. Like if they play back-to-back, -back, boom. Two mana, undo the back-to-back -back on one of the creatures. You might still get screwed on the other one. 
but the whatever your important one usually gets to stay alive unless they did two champions of course but um purify phenomenal um silence is really good you know there's so many things that you want to silence in this game so absolutely check that out anyway i hope you guys like the game see you next time